active transport is the movement of molecules or ions across a cell membrane against the concentration gradient from low concentration to high concentration gradient. The movement of molecules are as shown in the animation, where the molecules are moving through the membrane via the protein pumps. This movement requires energy in the form of ATP. ATP is hydrolyzed to ATP and phosphate by releasing the energy. This energy this changes the conformation of the transport protein, enable the molecules or ions to across the membrane. Then, mechanism in active transport. The protein that conduct this form of transport are often called pumps because they force molecules or ions to move from an area of low concentration to an area of high concentration. This is commonly referred to as against the concentration gradient. One of the more common examples of active transport is the sodium-potassium pump. The job of the pump is to move sodium ion in a plus out of the cell and potassium ion K plus into the cell. Let's take a closer look at how this happened. The sodium potassium has binding sites for 3 sodium and 2 potassium ions. Let's follow the movement of the sodium ion first. After 3 sodium ions are positioned within the carrier protein, an ATP molecule is split, releasing the phosphate. The, this phosphate binds to a location on the estuary of carrier protein, causing the protein to change shape. As it goes, the 3 sodium ion release to the other side of membrane. 2 potassium ions position themselves within the carrier protein, causing it to another change shape. In the process, the phosphate molecule is released. Once the phosphate release, the carrier proteins expel the potassium ions into the interior of cell. The carrier will return to initial shape, completing the cycles. Notice that every 3 sodium ions leaving cell, 2 potassium ions enter. Since both of the ions have the positive charge, this unequal movement causes an electrical gradient to develop across the plasma membrane of cells. Next, going to application of active transport. First part is cosmetics. One of the application is in active transport maintain hydration by regulating iron gradients in skin cells. Current use, development of anti-aging and hydrating formulation. Next, health. Application, sodium potassium pumps maintain iron gradients critical for nerve impulses and muscle contractions. Current use, treatment of disorders like epilepsy through the targeting ion channels. Issues related to active transport. Lack of targeted delivery in cosmetics. Delivering active ingredients to specific skin layers or cells via active transport is difficult due to the lack of targeting mechanisms. This can make the products less effective. Second, stability of active ingredients. Active ingredients in drugs or cosmetics, such as peptides or vitamins, may degrade before reaching their target due to environmental factors. The degradation prevents these compounds from engaging with active transport systems, thus reducing efficiency.